Just go to Chewbacca.com, type in where you want to go, number two clicks, select your check in, and check out dates, and search. It's that simple. Alright, so commercial's gonna be annoying, right? But that one with the Chewbacca guy is taking annoyance to a new level. It seems everybody has something to say about his look. Most of it not very nice. And now the company is hoping to cash in on all that negative feedback. Let's bring in John Northcott with more. So John, what is it about this guy? I feel a little bit of sympathy because, you know, I can next sailing or biking. I can look a little disheveled. You know, TV, we try and sort of mix it up with bands. We've been doing it. I think we've been doing it all wrong. I think we don't need to shave. We don't need to put on ties. We don't need to dress up. We don't need to have any press. Hey, when I do radio, I don't know about you. Well, I look like the Chicago I don't even wear shoes. But listen, this this situation here is one of those that, as far as we can tell, the company, and it's a Dusseldorf-based a travel website search company thought that they had a guy who was an everyman, a regular guy. If you have a look at some of the ads in terms of uh, the way he looks, he is pretty rough and tumble. Uh, people have commented on the disheveled hair, the fact that he hasn't shaved, the shirt open just a little. In fact, the Ripley shirt doesn't wear a belt for his pants. This has got people uh, around the world on the internet, to, you know, on Twitter saying things like, hashtag no belt, hashtag unkempt. Some saying uh, it could be an expression, dude, you look totally true. Vago when you have been on, been on a three-day bender. Uh, it looks like you have just uh, wakened up. Uh, super creepy, super baggy, all these terms are going out there. Now, the company, obviously uh, recognizing that they have fallen backwards into some kind of luck with this, are actually doing this as a, a campaign now to say, look, let's make this guy look a lot better. Let's have a contest, suggestions, give him a makeover. This, of course, for the guy behind it, Tim Williams, he's 47 years old. He is an American actor who has made it big in Germany. Uh, if that is anything to that, he has appeared in a number of soap operas. I think we have some shots of him uh, doing his thing uh, as uh, the regular Tim Williams, a uh, 47-year-old American actor who really, at this point, can't even believe his luck that he's ended up in this situation. Oh, so he thinks that this is lucky that he's Oh, well, situation. I don't... This would be pretty hard to engineer. Yeah. Uh, because the ad has been a tremendous rotation around the networks right around the world. Right around the world. So he's made lots of money off of it, so he could end up making some more. But yeah. imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. It's a pretty popular guy. It certainly is, and we're watching people already, and you've seen enough of the original to get how this take on it is uh, pretty close uh, to the real thing. Have a look at what one comedian is doing. Just go to spokespeople.com, type in the spokesperson you want, and with just two clicks, select no belt, open shift, and search. It's that simple. You can just have time to want your spokesperson to look. Select the booze you'd like your spokesperson to read up. Or filter by the number of cigarettes they smoke. So there it is. People having fun with it. And as P.T. Barnum said, you know, no such thing as bad publicity. And I think in this case, for the folks at Trevago, that's exactly true. All right. Well, we wish him well in his makeover. It'll be interesting to see what will happen. Thanks for watching. I'm going to try to grow a day beard. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. At least my pal. Okay.